I'm Gail Lockman McDowell, and I'm the founder and CEO of CareerCup, and also the author of Cracking the Coding Interview. Today, I want to talk to you about how to use a HackerRank platform. So this, and I'm going to talk about, first about how to use a HackerRank platform, the five different parts of it, and then I'm going to go into talking about the two different ways that the problem can be stated. So the HackerRank platform has five parts. First, we have the problem statement. This obviously describes what the problem is and what the different parameters are. What are the expectations? Make sure to read it very carefully as a subtle change in words can substantially change the expectations. Secondly, we have the test cases. So you'll be given a, a few test cases to help you understand what the input and output should be. And it's also a really good way of making sure that you've really understood the problem correctly. Thirdly, we have the editor. You can pick with the editor what language you want. So you can work with C++, Python, Ruby, or a bunch of other options. Fourth, you compile and test your code. You can test your code first against the provided inputs and inputs and outputs, and then you can also run it against a bunch of hidden inputs and outputs. Fifth, once you think you have it all perfect, go and submit your code. And if you want, you can go back and you can submit it again. So that's the, those are the five steps of the HackerRank platform. The problem statement, test cases, the editor, compile and test, and submit. And now we're going to talk about the two different ways that the problem could be stated. So first, you might see a sample or template code provided for you. In this case, let's, let's take a very simple example, like write a function to compute the sum of two numbers. You might open up your code window and see something like this. Int get sum, int a, int b, and then this. So your, so your editor window has this in it. In this case, your responsibility is just to go fill this in. So you'd write, of course, just return A plus B. The other way is you could open up your code window and you could see a totally empty window and no code provided for you. In this case, your responsibility is basically to fill in every part of your function, every part of your code. So you'd write something, you'd write all your, if you're working in C++. You write all your includes, so include IO stream. Then you'd write using namespace. See, and then you actually write your main function. And here you're going to use the standard inputs and outputs. You don't want to read from a file. There's no file here. You want to take your standard inputs and outputs. So, and A and B, and then you're going to use C in and C out. So you take your inputs. In our little trivial example, now we're just going to output the sum. And of course, we need a return zero. And then close our function. So these are the, the two ways you have it. You have a sample, sample template where you just fill in the code. In the background, HackerRank will actually go and, go and execute this function across a bunch of test cases. or you could have a totally empty window and you need to fill in everything. If you're working in C++, that's going to include, but that's going to mean all the includes as well, your main function. And then you take your inputs using C in and C out. Of course, the code is going to look different in a different language. So if you're not sure what the, what the template or sample code is that you should be writing, go to hackerrank.com slash environment to see how you write it in your language of choice. So those are the two aspects of HackerRank. There's the problem statement, Test cases, again, read those carefully. The editor, where you can pick your, pick your language of choice. Compile and test, which would run against the inputs you can see, as well as a bunch of, of hidden test cases. And then you can actually submit. And then you want to make sure you, you understand which environment you're working in. Are you working with sample code, where you just fill in the function? Or are you working 
in, some, in, we're in an environment where you have to write everything from scratch. Usually it's pretty clear based on whether you see a sample code there or you don't. But if you're not sure, go read the problem statement and it should specify this for you. And again, check, check out hackerrank.com environment to understand what the sample code is in your language. Thank you.